Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing a 100 rep core challenge. So we have 10 exercises and we're going to do 10 reps of each. We might as well get started. We're going to start with roll downs. So you're going to sit on your butt, sit nice and tall on those sit bones. Have your arms out in front with your exhale, tuck your toe and begin to roll down. Inhale at the bottom, exhale, tuck your chin to your chest and roll back up. And of course we have nine more. Relaxing the shoulders at the top. Four more. Using that exhale, make sure your core is doing the work. And last one. Big exhale, think core, core, core. All the way up. Nice job. Our second exercise, we're gonna do chest lifts. So go ahead, lay on your back, hands behind your head. To start, we're gonna take an inhale, exhale, curl head, neck and shoulders, reach behind your legs, pull a little bit higher, arms go back around and you slowly lower. Get those shoulder blades off the ground. Five more. Last one. Nice job. Staying on your back, we are going to have to do alternating tabletop lifts. So with your exhale, engage your core, lift your right leg into tabletop, lower down, exhale, lift your left leg into tabletop, and lower. That's one rep. We're going for 10. Halfway. Keeping a slight tuck in the tailbone. Two more. Last one. Perfect. We're going to stay in this position for our next exercise. We're going to start with both our legs in tabletop, and we have toe taps. So exhale as you lower the foot down, tap the ground, lift back up. Exhale, lower and tap, and lift. Again, that's one. We have nine more. Two more. Focusing on that exhale as you lower. Last ones. Awesome. You can take as much rest as you need between exercises. We are still on the ground for our fifth one. Legs in tabletop, arms straight up above. 
We are going to exhale, send opposite arm and opposite leg out behind us. With our exhale, we engage our core even more and pull back in. Good, that's four, five, six, seven, eight. Last two, challenge your core. And 10. Good, everything lowers down. Next, we're gonna go into single leg lowers. So both legs start up ahead. With your exhale, similar to the toe taps, except our legs are straight. We're going to exhale, engage our core, lower the leg down as far as our core will let us, don't let your back arch, and then bring it back up. Exhale, lower the leg, and lift. We're gonna do five more, four more, three, two, last one, finish nice and strong. Good, lower the legs, take a little bit of a rest because next we have double leg lowers. You can drop your knees from side to side. Give yourself a little bit of a break. And then when you're ready, both legs go up. Similar to the one before, except now both legs are lowering, keeping your core, keeping your core. Once you can't go any further, lift back up. You can have tension through the backs of your arms and your palms for help. And lift. With your exhale, we have eight more. Four more. Three. Keep that back press down, core is engaged. Last one. Awesome, legs lower. Next, we are going to come up onto our hands and knees. We have a 10 second bear hold. So, when you're ready, your palms are nice and strong under your shoulders. Your toes are tucked under. I'll turn to the side so you can see better. Toes are tucked under. You're going to pull the shoulders down, slightly unlock the elbows, rotate them in. Tuck your tailbone. When you're ready, you're going to lift the knees and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower the knees. If you need a little break, you can sit back into a child's pose, walk your hands long. We have two more exercises. Let's finish nice and strong. Next, we're gonna do mountain climbers. So you're gonna be in a plank position. With your exhale, you're gonna bring one knee to your chest and switch. Make sure those shoulders are pulled down. Three. Four, five, six, seven, with your exhale, eight. Last one. Lower your knees down. A little bit of a rest for your shoulders, for your wrists. Our last exercise is going to be a plank. If you can't do a regular plank, you can go onto your knees or you can be up on an incline of some sort, the wall, a table, a counter, whatever you have available. All right, last exercise, finish nice and strong. Pull those shoulders down. You're going up into a plank position to hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, drop those knees, shake everything out. Nice job, we just completed 100 reps of our core. 
I hope you guys had fun and you experienced a nice challenge. We'll see you next time.